Hello, I'm Dr. David Richardson, a cataract and glaucoma surgeon in Southern California. During my morning commutes, I like to discuss those topics that there's just not enough time to discuss in a typical exam room situation. Now, I've been talking about visual fields, and my most recent video was about the exciting possibility of using virtual reality, or VR, headsets to test visual fields. So, uh, let's talk about that. At a recent national meeting, I had the opportunity to test out a device made by Conan. This device called the Objective Field is a tabletop device. So unlike virtual reality headsets, uh, it's not at all portable. That being said, it's really an amazing piece of technology. Because it allows one to simply place the head up against a chin rest and a head rest and watch. And as one watches, a visual field is being performed. Now, this technology is not yet available, but if it does become available in the next uh, year, which is what they're anticipating, and it's affordable, I would certainly like to have one in my office because the experience of taking the visual field was actually quite relaxing. Uh, during the exam, uh, multiple colored petal-shaped patterns are displayed in front of uh, the eyes, and all that's required of the individual is just to sit there. Um, the technology uses the pupil response, so whenever light hits the retina, uh, signals sent back uh, into uh, a nucleus in the brain uh, that then results in pupil reaction. So bright lights result in the pupil constricting, uh, dim uh, lighting situations uh, allow for the pupil to dilate. So essentially, this device is able to measure the pupillary response to stimulus. So if you don't see something, there's no pupil response. If you see something, there's a pupil response. Um, it, it's really uh, quite incredible how it works. And uh, as I said, it's, it's really um, the furthest thing from a typical stressful visual field uh, testing experience. Um, uh, it's, it's mesmerizing, really, like looking at a kaleidoscope. So that is a very exciting technology, and I'm very hopeful that uh, additional studies show that it is indeed uh, on par, or it perhaps even better, than uh, standard automated uh, perimetry, um, and hopefully affordable. Now, as exciting as that technology is, or may be, it's still limited in the sense that um, a response is still required from the individual taking the test. So either uh, clicking on a um, handheld device or moving the head to indicate to the testing unit that the stimulus has indeed been seen. Now, what if that was not necessary? What if all somebody had to do was to place his or her head in a field device and watch. Sound like science fiction? I certainly thought so. But the technology exists and is in development that could allow this to occur. And this technology combines the benefits of a virtual reality headset, uh, both the uh, portability as well as the um, ability to change up the uh, strategy, the software, the, the way one responds, and uh, the lack of needing to uh, press a button or otherwise indicate to the, to the machine that you've seen something. So this technology, which is called N-Goggle, so N, the, the letter N, then Goggle, um, actually combines a virtual reality headset with uh, an EEG uh, so an electroencephalogram. And the way it works is that visual stimuli are projected onto the screen of the uh, virtual reality headset. And the electrodes that would be on a cap around the individual's head then detect a response in the brain uh, to the visual stimulus. So, so again, there's, there's no um, reaction necessary by the individual who's being tested, 
uh, simply the EEG unit picks up the response that uh, a stimulus that was presented has been detected by the retina. Um, so again, this is early, uh, early technology right now that's uh, not yet available, but uh, very, very exciting. So, you know, in summary, uh, although currently available visual field testing has not significantly changed in the last half century, we are right on the cusp of some very exciting things that could potentially address both the issue of uh, poor quality reliability testing, as we've talked about, uh, as well as the, the issue of the uh, requirement for a patient response, which is um, both frustrating for the individual taking the test, uh, and again, as we've talked about before, because uh, you just don't always know whether you've seen something, uh, and it's boring and, and frustrating, um, as well as uh, the problem with uh, reliability associated with requiring a patient response. So if we could, uh, either with a tabletop unit in the case of the Conan objective field or with a combination virtual reality headset as well as the uh, EEG as would be uh, available with the uh, N-goggle. Uh, this provides the potential for uh, a better quality experience by the patient, a better quality result uh, for the doctor reviewing uh, the test results, and um, just an overall better experience. So I'm very excited about the potential, uh, but it's going to be a while before these things are um, available, uh, and it's going to probably be at least a decade before newer technologies are able to replace the older technologies, um, if that even happens. Uh, but in any case, uh, I find this very exciting, and uh, again, if it's affordable, and uh, as reliable as it seems to be, I will certainly have it available for my patients uh, because we're all together looking for something better than the current automated perimetry. All right, uh, hope this was informative for you and I look forward to my next commute together.